hey guys welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to see uh, how conditionals and loops works in ansible so we are going to see how you can use if else kind of conditions which you normally use in your uh, shell script in your programming right you can do the same in ansible and similarly we will see how to work with loops so if you have some repetitive task uh, in ansible that you want to achieve you can achieve it via loops right so let's get started so here i have a file called conditionals.yaml so this i just wrote and it's a very simple file that basically explain how if else condition work in ansible so let's just go over line by line so probably by now you must be familiar with the host uh, term host keyword right so where we want to run this playbook so i said localhost then i'm defining a couple of vars so like i I've, we've covered variable in detail in previous videos right where 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 can you basically define your variable how you can define your variables different places where you can define your variables right so this time i'm defining my variables inside the playbook all right so you can see i have two variables uh, first one is directory name which says important there so this is probably the name of the directory which i want so i'm just creating a directory in this playbook and then i have defined another variable is directory and i have set it to true right all right so next i come down and i've named my task it's called create directory very creative then i'm using the file module and i'm defining the directory should be created inside the temp then i'm saying the directory name which should be important there and i want this directory to be created only if is directory is set to true else i'm just doing nothing right so you can see i've used the if else condition inside this block where you normally define where you basically normally call your variable i have just defined an if else block so this is as simple as this you can either and this is what we call using if else inline so inline basically uh, i'm using this in my playbook if you have jinja templates which you are using you can use if else in your jinja templates as well all right so next i'm saying the state should be directory and now we are going to run this playbook so first let's check if we have what's there in our uh, temp directory so it's actually difficult to type and speak so let's so you can see we have this mider from our last uh, lecture but we don't have any directory called important dir all right let me clear my screen and then ansible second playbook and then conditional.yaml and if we haven't done anything wrong we should be seeing important dir that's great all right now let's do one thing now let's set the is directory uh, tag to false is directory variable to false and see what happens then so first let's get rid of this directory right so i've deleted it now we are going to go inside conditional.yaml and let's set this to false now if i run this playbook the directory should not get created so let's just run it again all right something happened but let's just do an ls hyphen lrt on our temp directory and you can see nothing got created so this is how basically the conditionals are working in ansible so i'll basically i'll put a link uh, from the ansible doc where you can find more detail on this uh, how to use it with jinja templates right so you can just go through it and play around so i mean unless you play around you wouldn't get 
this is a very basic simple example i could come up with but there are a lot more complex uh, things which you can achieve with this conditional right all right so now let's move to our loops let me clear the screen so loops can actually help you achieve uh, i mean some really repetitive task uh, which you would probably want to avoid so suppose if you want to create uh, 100 users or want to install say 50 packages so i mean giving the name uh, i mean writing the task for each 100 users or writing a task for installing the package i mean per name right so each package you are creating a different task is actually very cumbersome so ansible actually gives you uh, a way to loop over the names of the packages of the users and then you just have to write one single task so i have actually created one task called loops uh, basically one playbook and let's go inside this and you can see it's actually very simple so again i'm defining my hosts task name is create so i'm creating users i'm using a user module so if you would have gone through the modules of ansible so there's a user module that is explicitly used to create users on a system so i'm using user module uh, i'm giving the name of my users which i want to be there so this is i'm defining via using item i want the state to be present and then i'm using the loop keyword in ansible and i'm defining the users which i want to be there so there's alex mer and christina these are basically my favorite characters from grace and acme all right this is actually the new form of loops earlier there was a thing called with underscore star because there were like with underscore item with underscore list with underscore structure which 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 actually served different purposes but everything that i mean under which started with with has been replaced by loop so i'll show you one example with uh, with also but this is how you use loop and i'll put a link in the description uh, about the loops which actually gives you a lot more details uh, it actually explains you how with underscore star has been replaced by loop and what are what all different uh, applications are there of loop right so this is very basic uh, simple application where i'm just creating a user and you don't actually have to list the users like this right you can even call an external file inside this an external say dictionary or any external file which ha actually has this list so in instead of defining this list in your playbook you can call an external file all right so let's just save and quit and run this playbook so playbook loops and you can see something changed and let me clear my screen and let me cat out my etc fastwd file so if you go down below you can see three users have been created alex mer and christina so this is what we wanted and in the similar way we can just get rid of them all as well just go to state and make them absent so these should be gone you can see the users are gone so this is basically how you use loop now let me give you an example with with so i have a file called with items so i'm going to show you the with items uh, uh, playbook you can see that i'm doing i'm actually not uh, doing anything i'm just uh, printing out an item and i have defined that item with with items keyword and you can see that i have given the list so hello and world two items which i want to print with debug module right so if you know that debug module is actually used to print uh, in ansible the message should print me hello and world 
so this is actually I can do the same demo of creating users with item you just need to replace uh, these items with the username which you want to create and debug module with the user module so it would work in the similar fashion as the loops were working right so let's just run this playbook and see if and you can see this has actually printed out what we wanted it to print right okay so this is it for this video guys this is what i wanted to cover conditionals and loop uh, conditionals and loop are actually i mean they have a lot more to this i have actually given you very basic examples uh, because probably you would definitely want to use it in a different way depending upon your use case right so i've just shown you how to use them probably it's now on to you just go ahead and use them play around with them use it in your actual environment where you're working if you have your own company try to use it and yeah so this is it for this video guys please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching